the cabinet is delivered to customers in a wooden case protecting the equipment from damage during transportation. Every cabinet has a detailed user manual where you can find traditional information about the cabinet configuration and technical characteristics and also all details of installation, commissioning, operating, maintenance and validation of the cabinet and the laboratory conditions. After the unpacking and assembly of the cabinet, you should choose its correct location in your laboratory. According to the recommendation of World Health Organization, a biosafety cabinet should be installed considering the existing air flows from windows and doors so that it could avoid drafts influencing the air flow in the cabinet. Remember that the proper air flow in the operating cabinet can be affected by portable fans, personnel, going around and even another operating cabinet at a close distance. Move the cabinet to the place of its permanent installation using the wheel supports and then fix the cabinet using the screw supports. Notice that after you have fixed the cabinet with the screw supports, the wheel should not touch the floor. It is necessary to leave at least a 5 mm gap to avoid an accidental cabinet displacement, as even the slightest relocation entails the compulsive procedure of technical condition control. This is a requirement of a standard. You can read in the user manual that when you connect the cabinet to the power source, it will come to a standby mode. The red light goes on, but the buttons don't function. Notice that in the standby mode the cabinet functions are off, but the outlets in the working chamber are alive, under voltage. Activate the cabinet using an electromagnetic key. The red light starts flashing, the control panel is active within 30 seconds, and you can turn on the lighting, then the fan. After that, the cabinet automatically goes to the operating mode. The maximum preparation time is 12 minutes. You can see a countdown on the display. During this period, the following processes are on. Control system primary heating, airflow sensor calibration, fan adjustment. The audio-visual alarm system is also on. You can turn off the sound to avoid discomfort. The flashing red light wants to operate that it is impossible to start work until all cabinet characteristics reach the specified parameters. When the cabinet is ready for the operating mode, the light turns green. You can start work. Notice that the working chamber is loaded and disinfected before the cabinet is in the operating mode, because after the airflow is created, any action violating its velocity and integrity will activate the alarm system. It's impossible to switch off the alarm during the operating mode. This is a standard requirement aiming at keeping the cabinet's protective properties, and therefore providing the guaranteed protection of the personnel product and environment from pathogenic agents and microorganisms. Making a new generation of biosafety cabinets, the LAMP system specialists used all their 15-year experience in designing and manufacturing equipment to create clean air environment. Everything in our new cabinets, their design, materials, control system, serves one aim – to make the personnel's activities as secured as possible. To focus completely on your work, leaving control to a reliable control system. To save time and effort during sanitation and disinfection. To equip your laboratory with cabinets, which will be surely certified and help organize the working process at the world standard level. All this is possible with a new biosafety cabinet Neoteric, made by LEM Systems CC.
Neo-Eteric. Perfection inspired by nature. <laughs>